What's up everyone? I'm back with a new video. My name is Irma and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the collaboration between MAC and Stranger Things Makeup. I was so excited to do this review for you guys. I've been binge watching this series so yeah definitely excited to try on the makeup. I did select some of the items just based on what I felt that I'm going to be picking up more often. However they do have other products if you guys want to go check them out. I got mine at Ulta but I'm pretty sure they will be available in different places at different stores but for now you guys without further ado let's get started in the collaboration they do have two different eyeshadow palettes i did pick up this one it's called the void and it comes in this little packaging and this little box with the blue and the upside down forest the actual palette is more like this it has the red on there it's like the gate of the um you know the opening to the underworld on the inside when you open it, it comes with this little sheet that you can use like a bookmark. And you know, it has some of the, um, like some of the details from the actual, um, uh, series. It's like the dimmer, I, I can't say it, it's one of the monsters that's on there. But, uh, that's what the picture is. These are the colors that I, um, am using on my eyelids today. So there is the red, which is like the brick color that I'm using on my upper eyelid. Um, this palette comes with five shimmers and it comes with three mattes. For my preference, I would have rather them have more mattes and maybe a little less of the shimmers. I feel like um, the colors are just, you know, a little difficult to put together. I did end up making this um, eye look with it, but I would have probably preferred them have more mattes and, you know, less toppers. But I did enjoy it very much. And they have a black, which is called The Void. They have the red, which is the, it's called Code Red. The red one. Uh, the blue is called uh, Creel House. They have the lighter gray color here, which is called Mind Flare. So they have cute names, you know, all with the series. They have this like a bone color shimmer and it is called uh, Spores. Then they have this like a light purple color and it's a matte and this one is called uh, the Demogragon. And then they have their green, which is called the Demo Bat. Oh, they have this one here, the darker, more charcoal color. It's the Mother Gate. The reason I picked up this one is because I have done blue looks. So, you know, I like the blue on my eyes. I've also done green looks on my channel. So, you know, that's another color that I do tend to get. I did like this white shimmer here because um the bone shimmer because most palettes have like more of a champagne shimmer and sometimes you just want a white look so i ended up using that one in my inner corner today and yeah i loved it so um you guys um just keep watching if you want to see how uh, i came up with that eye look the next thing that I did get was this blush. They did have two different blushes. Also, it comes in this little box with the blue, but the inside is the red, which is the um, the opening, which is the gate. And this one is called He Likes It Cold. I like this color because it was more of like a brick, and I just felt like it was going to go more better with my tone with my skin color the other one was a pinky like more pale color so um that one just wasn't gonna go with my with my skin i did swatch it on my arm and it didn't uh look like it was gonna go for me but the cool thing about this little um thing here is that it does have a mirror on the inside so if you're out and about you know you do have a mirror that you can just like use it for anything that you need so yeah this one was my choice of the two here are the three lip glosses that I did pick up from their collaboration. I ended up getting this uh, like a purple magenta color and then I got the darkest color that they had in their collab which is like a black 
brown color and then I got the red because of course red is my favorite you have to have red so I got these they did have some other ones if you guys want to go check them out they were more like nudes and you know um, I think they had like a coral color there as well but these were the ones that um, just caught my attention and that I wanted to pick up here is the packaging this one looks like it has more of like the high school theme so I'm guessing it's more of like the um, season four and it has 1986 on here and it says tigers and with their the green color from their school you know their school colors on here the other two are more like from the underworld so you can see the dark um theme going on here all right well we're gonna go ahead and get started with the makeup look and we're gonna see how i came up with the eyes and also we're gonna try on the three lip glosses on the lips and see what that looks like I'm gonna start with this color, the cool red, and I'm just gonna apply that on the upper lid here on both eyes, and then I will start to blend. So far the formula is very pigmented and it's going on the eyelids very smoothly. It's not taking too much to put it on there. Right now, I'm like on the second episode of season four and it's really good. So I'm probably going to catch up tonight and just finish watching the rest of season four and, you know, catch up with everybody. So for today's video, I actually decided to wear this little pink dress, remembering the little dress that Elle had in season one with uh, the baby pink. Of course, the color is different. This is just the closest thing that I uh, found that was to that dress but I did notice later on in the season that there were some other costumes that had a color like this with the little ruffles from like the the 80s so I just thought that would be fun the little stranger things vibe going on right here I'm gonna go into this purple color it is called Demogorgon and I'm gonna help blend this red out even more I don't want to go too high, so just keeping it right there, right above the red. And it's just going to help blend it. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to continue to use that purple color here, the Demogorgon color, with a flat brush. And I'm going to continue to put that on the upper eyelid, but right on the lid underneath the red. I wish they had a more purple color, like darker than this. This one's kind of pale. But I wish they had something that was more purple. I think it would look very nice. Can't really tell much difference there when you do that. Now I'm gonna go into the black color right here, which is called The Void, with a smaller blender brush. And I'm going to apply that on the edge of the eye and just work it in. Remember, be very careful with the blacks because they're usually very pigmented and they're kind of hard to work with. So just be careful and do a little bit of it at a time. I'm just creating a V here. So I'm going underneath the red and then I'm going right here on my lash line and just smoking it out. Now I'm going to go into the under eye lash line and for that I'm going to go into this blue shimmery color and it's called Creole House with a very small brush and just apply it on your under lash line halfway. Now that I have the blue on my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and go into the green color, which is called Demo Bat, with another small brush. And I'm going to place that on the outer um, part of the underlash line right here. Thank you. 
The last color from this palette that I'm going to use today is actually this white shimmery color here. It's called Spores. And I'm going to use that one for my um, inner corner right here. That looks so cute. So it really brightens up that area right there on the inner corner. Like that. And you can also use a very tiny brush and put a little bit of that on your brow bone right here, right underneath your eyebrows. So I'm basically done with this palette. The only two colors that I didn't use on my eyes today were these two colors, the Mind Flayer like the lighter gray shimmer color. And then also this one, this one was like a charcoal shimmer. And that one is called the Mother Gate. You can probably still use one of the shimmers, the grays on top of that black to bring some light, some luminosity to it. But I just wanted to leave it like that. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and lashes. And then I'm gonna come back so that we can check out the blush and see how it looks on the skin. All right, loves, I'm back with my lashes and with my eyeliner. Today, I used the Tom Ford Liquid Eyeliner. It's my favorite one. And I also used this Danessa Myricks Pencil Liner. This one is in the color Lemon Quartz, and it's a holographic liner. And I put some on top of the black liner here. So you can see it, like, if you move the face. You can see there. And I also put some on the waterline. So loving that, I think I'm going to pick up more of these. Moving on to the blush. So here is the little blush that I chose to go with from the two. This one is in the color He Likes It Cold, and it's the more brick color. And let's see what this looks like on the cheeks. I'm just going to apply some lightly right on top of where I have the bronzer. And I'm just going to play like that and then I'm going to go in and blend it with a bigger brush. Bring it up to the temple. So here's what it looks like now that it's all blended and nicely on the cheeks. I feel like the color is very pigmented but once you get it all blended in it's going to look really good. And if you feel like you need to blend it even more, you can just go into a big fluffy brush and with some translucent powder, just kind of go over the edges and it'll help you blend it out even more. All right, well, the final thing is going to be to try on the lip glosses. I did end up getting three out of the entire collection. They do have more if you guys want to check them out. I saw that they did have some neutral colors as well, like some very nudes and neutrals. And they also had a coral color. I just felt like I wasn't going to go for that one as much. But I did pick up three, and we're going to see how what they look like on my lips. So with this eye look, I feel like I probably could have gone with the nudes better. But I'm going to go ahead and try these other colors on either way so that you guys can see what they look like. So I'm going to start with this one right here. And this one is in the color Wild Wheeler. I love the little packaging of the way it looks. Um, you know, like the high school. It says 1986. So that's what this one looks like on. It's more of a purple, like berry tone color, like a pink purple. So I'm really loving the way that they feel on the lips. It's very beautiful, very pigmented. And it feels, it feels really good. It doesn't feel sticky. I don't think that you really need a lip liner for this. But if you want to have like a more defined um, outline then I do recommend using this one from makeup forever and this one is in the color all over magenta so you can definitely um, outline your lips with this one 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and we're gonna continue with the next color. This color was very interesting when I first saw it and I almost didn't get it just because of like the dark color. And this one is called Skull Rock. And it's like a dark color. It's like a black almost, I think. It might be a black lip gloss. But I still wanted to pick up this dark color. It got my attention because I do like to do my Halloween looks. And also, you know, there's times that you do the darker looks. And I just figured I wanted to have this one. So my collection is very different. And I figure it'll be hard to find, you know, if they do start making it. But um, for now, let's try it out. All right, well, this is what it looks like um, by itself. It was definitely a little bit harder to work with. I can see some of the little streaks on here. Um, I would recommend using a lip liner if you're gonna wanna use it on its own like this. My thoughts were to use it on top of a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and do it like the way that I thought on top of that lipstick and we'll see what it looks like on. Okay, so for this uh, lip gloss, I'm actually going to use a little combo. And I decided to pick up this uh, pencil from Makeup Forever. And this one is in the color um, Endless Cacao. So I'm just going to outline the lips like I just did the bottom one and do the top one now. Well, now that I have those lips outlined, I'm going to go into this Kat Von D liquid lipstick. And this one is in the color Crucifix. It's like a dark chocolatey brown. I know I had another one that is even darker from Kat Von D, but I can't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Now that I have that liquid lipstick on, I'm going to go ahead and put that lip gloss on and let's see what it turns out like. I just feel like now that we have a more even base, then it's going to look a lot better and it's going to help with the streaks. And there you have it. That's what it looks like on as a topper. I don't know if you guys can see it, but in person it does look a little more even since I did apply it on top of that liquid lipstick. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and try on the last color that I have. All right, here is the last one that I'm gonna try on and it's this beautiful red, of course, it's my favorite. And this one is called Rockin' Robin. You guys, this color is just so gorgeous. I'm loving it. Of course, it's my favorite. It's red, so I kind of knew that I was going to like it. And I love the MAC uh, formula for the liquid uh, lipsticks. So definitely loving this one. You can just leave it on its own like this, or you can outline it. I'm going to go ahead and outline it with this Kat Von D um, little lip liner. And this one is in the color Rosary. So there you have it. I feel like it really didn't need that much help. It was just a little touch from this little lip liner and it looks perfect to me. Well, that has brought us to the end of today's video. I had so much fun trying on these products and reviewing them for you guys. I think everything turned out so lovely. And yeah, you know, you might wanna go check them out. They have more items in their collab. These are just a few that I picked out, but I might go ahead and get a few more. And yeah, for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, call it a night. You guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Have a great and blessed one, and I will see you here next time. Thank you so much. Bye.